When it comes to waves, light, and sound, there's three words you have to be familiar with before we can start. And those words are cycle, so we're talking about vibrations or waves. Cycle, which is one complete pattern of emotion. And an example would be if you have a pendulum and you swing it back and forth, one cycle is the pendulum from rest position going this way, all the way back past rest, and all the way back to the rest position. So that's shown here. You could also describe one cycle of a pendulum by saying it's over to here and back over to here. If it was something like a spring vibrating up and down, then if the rest position's here and I pull it down, it's up to its highest point, down to its lowest point, and back up to where it started. That's one cycle. So the two words you need to know that use cycle are period and frequency. There are two different ways of looking at basically the same thing. Period is how long it will take for one cycle. So in seconds, how long does it take to go back and forth once? You can calculate that by swinging a pendulum back and forth a number of times, let's say uh, five times, and um, figuring out the time. So I time this, let's say it took me 10 seconds to go back and forth five times. So I take the time divided by the number of cycles, 10 divided by five gives me two. The units are gonna be seconds per cycles. We just use basically seconds. So the symbol for period is T because it's mostly interested in time. It's how long it will take for one cycle. So if, it's, if it was 10 seconds to go back and forth five times, then it took two seconds to go back and forth once. That's its period. Now frequency is kind of the opposite of that. Frequency is how many cycles in one second. So if I have here the formula t uh, period is time over number of cycles, frequency is the number of cycles per time. It's actually just the inverse. In fact, one over period equals frequency. So it's a different way of looking at the same thing. The number of cycles I did in my example with the pendulum was uh, five cycles, and the time it took was 10 seconds. So if I take five divided by 10, I get 0 0.5. So it's 0, 0 0.5 cycles per second, but we use the unit hertz. So we've got period and frequency. Period is how long it will take for one cycle, and frequency is how many cycles you get in one second. Now which you use depends on the situation, because there are two ways of looking at the same thing. For example, if I'm talking about the Earth going around the Sun, it makes more sense to describe its period. It takes a long time for the Earth to go around the Sun, so its period is a very big number. But how many times does the Earth go around the Sun in one second? The Earth doesn't go around the Sun in one second. So uh, it's not very good to describe its frequency because it would be a number like 0 .00000, 000, very tiny number. But some things, like the crystal in my watch, it vibrates 10,000 times a second. So describing its frequency, how many times it does it in one second, makes more sense. Describing its period, well, it's 0 .00000, and we try and avoid that. So for big numbers, things that take a long time, we describe it using its period, and for smaller things, we describe it using its frequency, it makes more sense. And the relationship between the two is that period is one over frequency. So if you need the frequency and you're given the period, it's very easy to find, just put one over that number. So now let's move on to looking at waves.